You 3D print and you've had a failed print. Something similar to this maybe. Maybe your supports failed early on in the print or late on in the print and uh, the entire print was ruined at that point and you had to start completely over. I'm gonna show you how to take this and make it something like this. Hey guys, welcome back to Imperfect Builds. I'm Levi, thanks for coming back. Today we're gonna to be diving into the world of Bondo. I'm gonna be diving into how to actually use Bondo the right way and how it's going to be most effective for you and it's going to work the best for you. I'm gonna show you a couple different specific methods that I use depending on what I'm trying to do. So we're gonna dive right into it. Uh, let's get into the first step. So for this, I'm gonna be showing you how to cover up layer lines. So for this print, I had just painted it because it, it, it failed on me and I didn't really want to mess with it. It was my first Iron Man helmet. I didn't really have any big plans for it. I just kind of wanted to test print something, make sure it was to scale. But it had failed on me, so I just printed it, or printed it and painted it. And uh, so today, I'm going to show you how to actually fill these layer lines in, get it really nice and smooth. And then also, I'm going to show you how to fix big holes like this, big chunks that you're missing. So these pieces here on the bottom, I actually didn't print at all. And I actually cut this piece out on Mesh Mixer and then shaved these little corner pieces down and then welded them. And it mat and it fit just perfectly into the jaw. And now I'm going to show you guys using Bondo how you can completely cover this up and make this all one smooth surface. So for my first technique, I'm going to be using it. I talked about this in my, one of my last videos. Acetone and glazing and spot putty so this stuff works really great you use it together you make like a runny mud and then you will use a paintbrush and you just apply it and this is really really good at covering up layer lines so I'm gonna show you how I do that so I'm gonna apply the acetone and bondo it dries super quick and then you'll be ready to sand this in like 20 minutes after you have applied it. So, and then I'm gonna move into showing you how to fill bigger holes and actually use the Bondo and Spot Putty on actually molding it and actually fixing maybe like a corner that didn't print well or maybe adding a little bit of a sharper corner. You can actually use the Bondo and Spot Putty to mold and almost make a mold of it. And then when you paint it, It'll seal that mold in. Um, you do have to be careful with it. You can't use too much because it will crack out. If it's a sharp corner and you're motorizing a helmet and that corner is coming down and making contact with the helmet and, and, and the servos are slamming it down, then you probably don't want to use that for this, use that method for this because you're it's probably going to end up breaking off. But let's say it's like the inside of the eye and it's just like a little corner that maybe didn't print well or something happened and, or you sanded it too short or something, you can use this method to fill that in because it's never going to make contact. It's never going to have that issue. So you can actually mold it with the glazing and spot putty. Uh, you want to take a nice, nice little scoop of the Bondo out. So I'll put about that much in the bottom. That's probably plenty. And then you want to just just enough to fill the bottom. If you make it too runny, it'll be way too runny. So just enough to fill like a, a little corner of the bottom, and then you're gonna mix it all together. You don't wanna make it too runny, or it's gonna, it's just gonna run, and it just run right off the print, and it won't be thick enough to actually fill the layer lines. So go ahead and mix that up. Once you mix it up, it should look something like that. Something nice and watery, not too watery but enough where you can apply it. All right, so start wherever you want, but you're going to slowly apply it to the mask and just give it nice coats. It, it's okay if it runs a little bit, but you're going to give it a nice coat of the Bondo. Don't be afraid to really lay it on and uh, put it on in a little bit of a thicker layer. Um, because we're gonna sand it anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. The uh, the biggest thing is is really getting a good layer on there. That way you don't have to do this process again. And so for these big thick holes, right? You can uh, you can run it over. And if the holes are small enough, this method might actually just work for those little small pinholes. But if they're a little too big, it'll be a little too runny for them, and you'll still have a little bit of an indent. See, like on that one, there's still 
there's still some indents in there. So we're going to go over that with just the Bondo, no acetone by itself. And I'll show you how we do that here in a second. So make sure you guys get in all the cracks. Make sure you get in to the eyes. It's all right if it runs a little bit. If you, if you get it into those corners really thick in the eyes right here, you want to make sure that you kind of spread it out because you don't want it too thick in there where you have to like go in and file it down. You don't want to make any more extra work for yourself. But as you can see on this one, there's some layer lines in those eyes. So I'll just take it and then run it in there, cover, try and cover up those layer lines in there, get these eyes done nicely. So it's already starting to dry up here on the front where we started. So they've got these little divot holes up here at the top. Uh, there's another point where you kind of want to be careful of how much you get into those cracks or you're going to have to go back over it with a uh, like a file or a small little like toothpick or something and, and scrape out that Bondo. So just be aware of those little spots and little edges right here. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'll go over it again with a uh, with a pick and just scrape out the bondo once I'm ready. Once I've got this sanded, I'm just gonna go over any last little areas I may have missed or just didn't really get a good coat on originally. Especially in those eyes where there's some top layers because it was printed like this, so those top layers are really deep. So I make sure I go over those a couple times with the coats. That way it really fills it in and uh, we don't have to do it again. So your Bondo, uh, once you start using the, this little concoction we've mixed up, uh, the acetone will evaporate slowly. So you need to make sure that it doesn't get too chunky in your cup. Like mine is starting to build up and get a little chunky. So I probably need to add a more acetone, but we're almost finished here. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if I had to keep going and let's say I was doing a bigger piece of the armor, then I would definitely I would definitely add some more acetone and Bondo, get that mix back down to a little more liquidy state. You want to do this before you do the primer stage because if you have primer on here and you start rubbing acetone on it, it's going to peel that primer right off and it's going to make that primer get chunky and just start to come off as you're applying this Bondo. So make sure you, this is your first step before you do the primer. If you're just using the glazing and spot putty to apply and you're not using acetone, then by all means, use, do the primer method and then do the filler primer and then do the Bondo. You'll have no issues. But if you're using acetone and you've already primed this, that's no good. You're, gonna, you're going to start to peel that primer up. So we've got this nice and coated now. And now we're just going to sand it down and uh, then we'll get into filling in those deeper holes. So we've got this nice and coated now, and uh, now I'm gonna show you how I'm going to fill in these uh, these deeper pot holes right here. I'll take a little bit of Bondo, apply it to my finger here, and I mean just a little bit, not too much, because with Bondo, you wanna work in small layers. You don't wanna use too much at once, and then you slowly just fill that in. Apply one coat, one layer at a time. Apply that really thin, light layer, and once that layer dries, come back and do another layer. Don't gloop and glob this stuff up on top of your prints because Bondo, the way it works is once it dries, it dries like a clay. So it's, it, it, it is very easy to crack and it will crack and it will fall apart on you. So when you are building up layers, you need to do them in very thin layers so that they will really stack together and seal together. It's too thick, it'll get a crack, and it'll crack through all of your layers. So see with the thin layer, it's already almost dry. I mean, I literally just, just applied it, and it's pretty dry. Just in the hole, there's a little bit of a, a wet spot I can see. I'm just going to give that a few minutes to dry, and then we're going to come back and apply another layer until it's built up smooth. And, and that way, I don't have to worry about anything cracking or any issues later on. Uh, especially when you're molding with this stuff is doing thin layers because if you gloop it on, gloop it on to the eyes or whatever you're trying to mold with it, it will start to crack out. All right, so this has been drying for a few minutes now. It's, a, it's pretty dry. We're going to apply another layer here. So this is just a rinse and repeat step. Let it 
apply a layer, let it dry, apply a layer, let it dry once you have it nice and smooth and then we'll, we'll move on to sanding this down. And then once it's sanded down and the whole entire surface area is smooth, we can prime it. So there we go, we've got that covered up now. Uh, so I'm going to actually apply a nice little layer right here to the bottom, cover up these thicker layer lines here. So if you're applying this stuff with your fingers, make sure it doesn't chunk up in areas. Make sure if you go a little over the area that you were applying it to already, that you kind of just rub it in nice and smooth. That way it'll save you in sanding later. Because If you get a nice chunk built up, you're just going to have to just keep going over it and over it and over it. And you don't want to waste your time doing that. So, I mean, this is imperfect builds. So you can't expect this to give you perfect results is it's not it's going to give you very good results and it's going to be almost impossible to tell that you have layer lines or that this is 3d printed don't don't get the concept or the idea that that it's going to be a 100 percent perfect so i want you guys to don't stress about this process that much and enjoy it and have fun with this and enjoy what you're doing not crazy stressed out about it so don't uh definitely don't stress about this. It's okay if you have a little imperfection here or there, but get it as perfect as you can. But perfection's overrated, guys. It's never gonna happen. Don't stress about it. All right, so we've got a little bit of a divot still here on this other side. I'm gonna go back and apply a little bit more bondo. There's just a tiny little divot right here that I see. It's 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 honestly I maybe just oh there you go. You guys can see it on that camera. Yeah, so it's just a tiny little divot right there that I don't like. So we're going to fill that in just a little bit more. But you guys saw it originally, uh, how it looked. And so we're just building this up layer by layer, and it's it's coming out really nice. And we, we may not be able to fill that divot in all the way. I mean, if I were to continue over and over and over, do this. But as long as it looks really close and smooth, those that's what I'm talking about with the imperfections. Is It's never going to be noticeable unless you're like right there like that's the only way you're going to be able to see it so don't uh don't stress about it too much guys oh yeah that's looking really smooth we've got it sanded bondoed now we just wait for it to dry i mean with the acetone and brush this layer is dry it's sandable right now i'm just going to wait for these little edges to dry here and then i'll show you uh show you what it looks like all right guys so here it is this is it once it's been bondoed and primed. So this is after I primed it. I haven't wet sanded it, I haven't touched it. So this is it right after I primed it, guys. I haven't sanded it, touched it, I haven't messed with it at all. This is just directly it right after I primed it and let it dry. And I mean, as you can tell, there's like virtually no layer lines. Uh, like right here in the eyes, you can see there's some, some little spots, there's some lines in there, but I think that once, once I wet sand this down, that that'll be completely smooth. I think it's just got a little chunky in the eyes right there. It's hard to even see it on camera. So you can see the lips where I welded it are like completely smooth. The whole thing is like practically smooth. You could almost practically just paint this like it is, but I want, really want to get that nice glossy paint look to it, that really nice finish. So I'm going to wet sand it now using 600 grit wet uh, sanding paper and water. And it's going to really give it a really smooth finish. So I'm going to do 600 and then I'll move to a 1500 grit. Following that method with the Bondo and doing, you know, the acetone and Bondo method, adding in, you know, rubbing in a little bit more Bondo with no acetone into certain areas that are a little bit deeper. It comes out to an incredibly smooth finish. If you guys follow this method, I mean, you're going to have great success. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like finished. So, uh, Here's how it came out, guys. As you can see, that original crack where we had welded is completely smooth and flat. You can't even tell it was there. After we wet sanded this, it came out completely smooth and looking like that real Iron Man metal look. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you understood what I was saying. And if you didn't, just leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I'm just really trying to give the best information that I can. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but I really was trying to break down how to really use the Bondo. That was my main goal for this video. 
not necessarily the whole finishing process, but just how to specifically use the Bondo. If you guys want me to do a full video on how to finish completely step by step through, uh, I can totally do that. Just let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that. Um, thank you guys again for watching the video. I love the community we're building here. We're slowly building the channel up and you guys are always following and showing the support and I really appreciate it. So please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy being a part of this community or if you enjoyed the video. Um, I thank you guys so much. Uh, I love you all. Have a great night. Perfection's overrated. Don't you guys forget that. I'll see you in the next one.